Who are you talking to when you go live? Hi, I'm Charlene Tessier from Strength and Numbers, and I'm here to help you use strategic live streaming to fill your next course, workshop, or live event. Now, when we go live, yes, we are broadcasting to the many. And there can be a lot of people here live with me on the call and on the live stream chatting with me. But when you're talking into the camera, you're really actually only talking to one person. They are looking back at you and I'm looking at them. And I know this is hard to do. This has been hard for me. Staring up at the camera, you know, imagining that it's somebody, it's, it's difficult to be honest. And um, prior to doing a lot of online video work, I actually did a lot of uh, live presentations on stages, if we, all, any of us remember that about. And even though the group of the audience was many, there were always a few friendly faces in the audience. And whenever I spoke and did my presentation or my, my talk, I looked at and spoke directly to that one person. Even if I looked at different points of the audience, I always directed it to an actual person. And live stream is really no different. But often when we write out our kind of uh, scripts or what we're going to be saying, we forget and rewrite for always speaking to the many. And yes, there are many people here. However, you need to remember that when people are watching it back, you're speaking to one person. Have you ever thought about looking at your scripts and trying to rewrite them so that they're for the one? And how hard has that been, right? Let me know in the comments below. What I've been working on a lot is not creating my avatar because for me, the avatar is very abstract. I haven't been creating my persona or any other uh, kind of generalized idea of my audience member. Again, that's all plural. What's worked for me is seeing who is my true ideal customer. And it's a real person. Um, they are a singular person. They are not a range of ages. The they don't have a, a mix of hobbies um, in that they may like this or they may like that. They like cooking and they love, you know, uh, swimming and hate performance arts. It's a very specific traits about that actually one person. And having this one person really fleshed out for me has made it a lot easier for not only writing my copy for all of the copy across my business, but to also write these live streams. And when I'm writing them, I'm thinking about that person. And think about how when you write an email to your friend or your colleague that you know, think about it. When you're writing to them, how is it kind of coming out onto the page? You're writing it out as if you're talking to them in your mind, right? Just think about it for a second and you'll realize next time when you're writing an email to your friend that it comes out as if you can see them there, right? You can't actually see them, but you can see them there and you're writing it as if they're there. And it's just so easy and natural. You don't, you don't think about it. You're not trying to make it, make it work. And this is the same thing for your live stream. Write out your um, framework of what you're going to talk about to that person and only talk to them. Talk to that one person. When you do, you'll have a much more authentic and uh, genuine conversation as well as it will be you know, very, very natural and easy for you to do. You won't be leaving other people out because many others will have similarities and relate to that. So you don't have to worry about, oh, am I leaving people out? Don't really worry about that at the beginning, 
right now. There are some ways to actually speak to different audiences who have different interests and in a slightly different style. But again, you're getting yourself bogged down. So start with one, start with the one customer who you do know in your business is like, yes, that person is my ideal customer. I want more of them and talk to them, write and speak to them when you're creating your content. Now, one little tip is if you're starting out your business and you're new and you're like, I don't, I don't know who it is. I don't have that person in mind. Um, so just create the avatar. Generally, what uh, you are delivering, the content you're delivering is actually um, very good for your former self, your past self. And it's probably what you would have told your past self, what you know today, right? And so write to your past self as a person. What would you tell yourself in the past that you know today? And that, again, brings it in and it kind of alleviates that of I don't have my perfect customer in mind or I don't know what it could be. Start with that. So always think about who you're talking to, speak directly to them and keep it um, authentic. Until then, I encourage you to join my um, community. It's private, it's free, and it's helping you with live strategic tips to help you get started with live streaming and hope you guys have a great day.